Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. XWI was like, come on, man. Give me Storm, man. Give me Storm. Give me Storm. Mm. All right, so Storm Spirit will be coming. Man, it does have another one. Let's see. Because this Clockwork wants to stay pretty aggressive and running them with Battery Assault, but you're eating so much damage to do so, and, well, now you're giving up First Blood, and Cry's going to do all he can to maybe shift some XWI getting hit with that Snowball, but now no mana left on this Tusk, so he can output some damage here, but needs to be careful as he's standing in some creeps. Very interesting build. He does have Blades of Attack on mid lane. We'll hold that thought. Yeah, Cry we'll with a raise. raise. Oh. Pichu? Into the trees, trying to get around. Cry, well, he's going to be, like you said, still crying. Sounded like Roy Orbison over there. Is he going to sword? Maybe. I'm thinking of just the guy from One Piece who holds three swords at one time. I don't know his name off the top of my head. I didn't watch that anime. Pichu in trouble, getting run down here, and the raise is land from Cry, so they'll put their first kill on the board. As they land another raise on XXS, he's getting hit with a good amount of damage coming in from the Shadow Fiend. Trail the item burning, trail doom. <laughs> burning Doom one more time. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Hallucination. Vortex mid. Snowball. And that is going towards Pichu. They also have this clockwork. They've got the cogs around the gyro. Falling into the cogs. And there are a lot of heroes here. Looks like they might kill gyro again with a walrus punch coming through. They need one more right click. They'll finish off Pichu. But CXK on telekinesis throws him onto the enchantress who is healing them up. And well... All three die for just the five position gyro. Both rotations from Astro rotate. It's a bit difficult kill to get. This might be a third time. Rotations. Homie Missile's going to catch him after the snowball. But they'll bring over the Mars. They'll look for the arena. Uh oh. XWY? Well, Bonk. you might be asking Bonk. why. And well, it's because he couldn't ball lightning out of the arena. So they are going to get a kill on the storm, which is a good amount of gold for Chosen One. Thought he was the one in trouble, but they brought an ambulance for. The storm instead. Cold bird make not a lot of mana to work with, but going over towards this clockwork who went three one two. Oh, so no. he doesn't have Ro hook two shot. points and rocket flare. Oh no. So throws the rocket flare out, and even without the hook shot, they get the kill. They've got five kills on the board. They got him. They got him uh, in the end. That's uh, what matters. Clockwork will trouble down. here. Or Full wraparound. It is he. I, it, they went after him for a second, though. Drop the arena. Pichu, is that the hero you want to go for? All right. Well, Mars is dead very quickly. XXS, he's got Primal Roar, but the hook shot only hits his army. Does not hit this Beastmaster. And they'll go to the Requiem, which does land on XXS. Nice it does Requiem. hit on XWY, where the raises will follow to get the kill. And they get XXS. Seeds of Serenity pushed out by the Cogs. Call down onto three of these heroes with Monet showing up to the fight, one-shotting this Shadow Feed. They'll get the kill out of the Clockwork. They'll look over at CXK, and it will be everybody dead on the Outsiders of China. Black Dragon plus Chirocopter. They can kill any hero on the map, and now invading enemy Triangle. Cry. Going to make it away, but CXK is not going to be so fortunate. Requiem on it, too. Do they really want to fight this? They'll get the kill on a CXK. Cry needs to run. No reason for him to stay close as Monet is also going to get another kill here on a cold bird. So this is not exactly looking great. Finally has the Meteor Hammer, though, so that they can push some towers. Maybe. Which towers are we talking about? I don't think they're going to be able to <laughs> get across the river. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. But Vortex call down, and that is a dead Mars for the fourth time uh, in what feels like the last two or three minutes. And they're going to go to the high ground and potentially, I, I would almost go as far as to say, finish this game. Primal Roar, down goes Cry, hook shot in, and down goes Clockwork. We've got the stolen Primal Roar. They'll throw that on the CK, but Monet he's not going to drop alive. in this one. He's got that armor to toggle and or hmm. the beast. Chosen one, tag team, but you're hitting someone who had nature's attendance and is healing up. Spear lands an XWI, Meteor. and they get the kill on the Storm as well as Bobica. All five heroes combined to get two. Meteor did not connect on anything, nope. but they didn't even yeah, need it. They are getting the kills. Demon. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think Aster's gonna lose and get too bored with the game. I think they'll just take it. I slow. thought you were talking about the scale. Like your pups are like Aster. Oh, uh, I mean, I my my nickname is uh, Bobka in my pubs. Monet, BKB, 
toggling the armlet, still surviving, but eventually loses that Aegis. Spear connects on XXS. They've got themselves the Walrus Punch. The Meteor Hammer comes down, and the Requiem is there. They'll get themselves the kill to XXS, and now it's Monet versus the world. Phantasm right clicks, cries God. Here comes Pichu with the help of XWY. They've got three heroes dead. They'll go after CXK, make it a fourth with the Rubik dropping, That's and chosen one. Wipe. Well, he's been chosen to be the one that dies to finish off the team wipe. And, and they'll call GG call yeah. right off that. They understand that game is pretty rough. They kill Beastmaster, but they lose all members. And and Time. What you want against the Outsiders draft when you think of DP Lesh, the heroes that want to run in. SF, he's going to buy early. Very strong lane. This is a killer lane. They can't kill Jug because of the spin. Oh, Telekinesis. That profit. Right into Monet. Jingu's going to go off. Boundless strike. First blood for Monet. Snowball in. CXK won't die as they don't have any more lockdown to follow that up, but that is not really the Percy's kill is getting a little bit easier once he gets that orb of venom. He finishes off the treads, and here comes the courier. So 27 and 3 for him compared to the jug over bottom of 23 and 6. Avalanche toss out of the tower. One, two, three strikes. You're out of there, chosen one as all three raises hit from XWY from the tower. Doesn't actually have a sentry, but does he have one coming in? No. Oh no, that Prophet is alone here. Yeah, Orb of Venom now with the Jingu. Boundless Strike. They have the damage. The Spirit Siphon. One more charge on it. Can he get under the tower with this while over mid? They're trying to fight. They got the shards. They'll block out this Shadow Fiend toss. Back towards the Silencer. The right clicks. The Arcane Curse. XWY is going to get run down. Raises and will get a kill at least in the return. But he will fall over mid. Right? There's the healing ward, but is that enough heal? No. It's only level one level healing one. ward, so XXS gets a solo kill. Ooh, good stun by Chosen One. Bobica, no mana to work with, and a lightning storm from Chosen One to get the fin goes off. They've got the snowball to pull him in, but that means he's going to be taken further away from the tower. I don't know if that's really the end goal here. Arcane Curse, last word. Bobica coming in, shards, blocking in Monet, but they land the avalanche, and that will get the kill to Cold Bird. They'll look over at CXK, and the toss brings them both over. So the damage coming through for Monet is enough to get themselves at least the silencer. They'll look over at CXK, Jingu again. Another will snowball. Go off eventually. The snowball, well, he's still dead on his screen already, and he'll fall as a double kill is there for Monet. Have to be careful, especially with the amount of Eidolons here. The damage could certainly overwhelm this Jug. She just trying to position himself right. Oh, they've got Monet now. This really might just be a dead Jug. He's sticking around. Telekinesis, Boundless Strike, goes into the Blade Fury, and now the Jingu is there for Monet. With Bobica making the rotation, the Omni Slash, that'll oh, bounce yeah, around and do them. no damage. And they don't even need Black Hole on this one. They'll just get a kill on a cry. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but that might be the first tower they've gotten this DPC. Which means things are looking up for Outsiders from China. CXK, though, hit with the raises. He'll go down to XWI, who is the lowest core on the side of Aster. And another tower in trouble here for Outsiders from China, as well as Jug again. He's forced the Blade Fury away. Also steal that Arcane Curse, which is a very important vision next to where they were standing right now, is gone. Oh, blink in, chosen one, going forward, and they've got the toss up into the air. There's the Walrus Punch. The damage isn't exactly amazing to get the kill here. The Guardian Greaves go off, but the Sun lands on a two. Blade Fury, Spirit Siphon, XXS on the run, but there's the Requiem, and they won't get the kill on XXS. They do take out Bobica. They committed the Exorcism on this. However, they only got themselves a support. Cry moving forward. He does have Omni Slash. That's going to deal a good amount of damage to Pichu, but not enough to get a kill. Sees the Serenity are down the Snowball, right on top of XXS, puts CXK in a bad position. They look to get the kill on a Monet. They still haven't gotten XXS. There's the Wukongs. Down goes the Death Prophet. They'll take out the Silencer, and Monet is now dominating. Finally, XXS got him back. Trying to get a stable heartbeat going. Maybe get it. Uh, only 6,000 net worth. Like, that's not... Compared to last game, I would say decent spot to be in, which is not for this Death Prophet. Just like that Mars, I feel like you left the lane and all of a sudden he's died a bunch of times in a row. A bit of a difficult one. He did have mech available that is was being delivered on a courier. CXK. Walrus Punch has Snowball. Uh, oh, Bates the Boundless Strike. Or, well, Bates with the Boundless Strike, the Snowball. And they get the kill. It's a mega kill streak here for Monet. <laughs> 
They, they saw that smoke, yeah, by the way. Exactly. That is deep observer ward from Bobica. Cry. Oh, toss. Avalanche. She's in between four. They go to the global silence, but look at the damage being taken here by Chosen One. Snowball to pull him into the team. He had no health left. What are you doing? They get the kill out of Bobica. They'll look over at CXK. The Lashrak. Well, he'll survive for a little bit longer. They do end up losing CXK. Exorcism again being used in retreat. Primal Spring on top of the Death Prophet. Blade Fury on top of Monet. Well, he's getting hit with that stun. The split earth, the last word, the damage, but surviving. Arcane Curse will get another kill for this silencer. He'll just outlive it. Seeds of Serenity and, and yeah, Guardian Green Zora the best keep the game alive. Neutral item in the game. By far. That was so close. This couple of things they're doing Roshan right now, so might give Cry full sense of security. But we could never went to heal and well, CXK is going to blink in Walrus Punch. They still don't have the damage to get the kill here out of the Tusk. They're going to run over and lose Chosen One. Shards thrown out. Pobuka dead. XWY. No Requiem with Global Silence coming through from the Silencer. He's running away, but he's taking a lot of damage. If he throws out the Requiem, he's dead for sure. Requiem right on top of CXK in death. And with another Exo, they get a kill there out of the Shadow Fiend. Why? Very greedy with his item build. I, I was looking at it. I'm like, is he really committing? Is he getting Crystalis before BKB? And he did. Wukong's used and doesn't catch them cry. And they'll get a kill on a CXK again. Bobica with that blink dagger, he has been vicious. Chosen One blinking forward, missing the stun. XXS is here, and now Chosen One on the run. Well, this is a problem for the Lashrak because the telekinesis keeps him close, and they'll get another kill on the Lashrak as he uh, just respawns in the trees. Can't call it trees. Outside of some China coming over, XXS in the front. They've got the silence to go to the snowball to try to chase XXS, but the snowball does not connect. They've got shards that block it for a second, but Cry, he is already dead to Bobica. They got the kill very quickly. He doesn't even oh, buy back. Right Chosen one's going to be right click down, and they'll look over at the Death Prophet, who is not the last one alive, but that's because Silencer bought back to do this. Global Silence to try and keep him alive. Throws a Glaive out there, but the right click's coming in from XWI. The Primal Spring onto the ground. Ballast Strike lands on both. Full team wipe and a GG call. Aster taking the Series 2-0 over Outsiders from China in easy fashion.